J is on the go. Hello everyone, this is Mommy J. I'm going to talk about the advantages of living here in Canada. Um, last video, um, naka-feature namin yun yung pagiging Canadian citizen namin. Um, actually, it's just my husband, my daughter, and me. The two boys are natural-born Canadian citizen. Bakit nga ba ginusto namin tumira dito sa Canada? Or bakit dapat kayong tumira dito sa Canada? Um, ang una-unang advantage dito for me is the healthcare system. Um, it's the best healthcare in the world, I can say. Uh, lahat ay libre. Uh, dalawang anak ko dito, uh, dito ko ipinanganak. Lahat cesarean. But then all things were free. Kahit nung pag umuwi kami, may dala pa kaming ano eh. Uh, libreng <laughs> uh, diaper and formula. Dala-dala pa namin. <laughs> So, yun na yun, healthcare, number one. Um, kasi maganda yung may healthcare na wala kang binabayaran. Pagtanda mo, um, you can be, you can be uh, sick for sure. Pag matanda na, eh, pag libre lahat, eh, hindi ka mamang problema, hindi ka may stress kung saan ka kukuha ng pambayad. Uh, sa hospital lang, million na ang gagastusin mo. Pero dito, ang matatanda, stress-free. Palagi lang silang, ano, <laughs> nag-travel. Kaya, kasi wala silang iniisip na about um, yung sa health nila, kung paano, saan sila kukuha ng pambayad. So, that's very important, yung health mo. So, anyway, number two is yung government is very much family-oriented. I, nag, uh, magiging ano sila concern sila sa sa future ng mga bata ang education is free from kindergarten to uh, high school pero for, for sure if you have extra money there's a lot of private uh, schools here pero talagang mahal <laughs> um, but anyway maraming mayayamang Canadians that can afford but I don't think so with the immigrants like me um, na pupunta doon sa private. So yan, think, ang uh, education is free from kindergarten to high school. Pagdating naman sa college or university, um, yung matapos na yung high school, dalawang klase nga yung ano. Ang, ang tawag sa atin sa Pilipinas is college. Pero dito yung ano is university, yung mga four-year course. And then, yung college is, yung, yung parang pa sa atin is uh, vocational schools. But you can also get a four-year course there. I don't really, I'm not really sure what's the difference yung pag ano. Pero pag nasa college ka kasi more or more on like two-year course on or everything on or skilled uh, courses. Um, yan ang hindi libre. Pero kung... Matalino naman yung anak mo, you're, they're smart and everything. They can have uh, scholarship or grants from the governments and you'll end up paying nothing. Uh, so, masaya. Walang bayaran na naman. Kaya dapat i-train mo ang anak mo na mag-aral ng mabuti at mag-avail ng scholarship. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, everything is, ano, is affordable. And, Ang ano naman is um, another reason na ano, ang government is very family oriented. Um, very concerned sila sa mental health, physical health ng mga bata. Um, there's a lot of parks everywhere. Like every uh, a kilometer or two kilometers apart, you can see parks na complete with all structures, yung mga swings, um, slides, everything, and very clean ang environment. Uh, tapos, meron sila mga program para sa mga sports and yung sa mga 
um, music instrument para maging ano mas mas smarter daw ang bata pag nag uh, ano ng sa mga piano or um, piano or mga drums anything about uh, musical instrument but anyway um, so uh, that's it yung sa family oriented thing and the third reason na dapat kang tumira dito sa Canada is yung safe environment for sure um pwede kang umuwi ng gabi na hindi ka nag nag nagaalala na baka meron sa yung mga ano <laughs> o hold up or everything and umuwi man ang anak mo ng gabi eh, hindi ka magaalala kasi there's like um it's not a zero crime rate but there's still a, a little bit Don't. the dragon spot first the best they could do not get worry of your safety uh people are afraid to do crimes <laughs> and that's why yan ang isa sa pinakamagandang reason kung bakit dapat kang i-sacrifice mo yung life here is uh, not as you know as jolly and happy and uh, festive compared to the Philippines kasi nandun nga naman lahat ng kamag-anak mo lahat ng mga kaibigan mo simula nung ano ka bata ka and then bigla kang pupunta dito parang hindi masyadong ano lahat is everybody strangers but then i-sacrifice mo yung isipin mo yung family mo yung anak mo na hindi ka mag-aalala kung meron bang pag ano eh mas ano may maaano sila sa mga criminals or whatever and yeah yung safety talaga ang next one is yung uh, uh, employment benefits uh, uh, I mean pag nawala ka ng trabaho the government can help you uh, sustain your living meron silang employment insurance it's not the, the whole of your ano, your salary uh, like I get 70% but still it's, it's a big help hindi ka magbubori kung saan ka ba kukuha. And then, they have a child support. Child, uh, Canada Child Benefits. Um, pag low income ka, you can get the maximum amount of child benefits. Yan yung tulong ng Canada. Bigay, bigay ng Canada para sa masustain ma mo yung living ng anak mo. It's for your child, but it's the parents who actually expend, <laughs> who actually spend the money. But then, um, uh, it depends on on your income. Pag malaki-laki ng income mo, kukunti na lang naman ang bibigay ng Canada for sure. So, that's a big help also. And then, the employment insurance is the big help. So, of course, the next one, yung beauty of Canada. Napakagandang lugar. You see everywhere, napakalinis, and a lot of nature. Yung mountainside, yung lake, um, yung greenery. Uh, tapos napakalinis niya. Kaya, if you can see on my vlogs, uh, we travel from East End, which is Ontario, up to here in BC. It took us nine, nine days. And makikita mo yung mga na ano ko doon sa, 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 sa video ko. I mean, um, yung mga falls, falls and then the, the mountain. And then yung pagdating dito sa BC which is more ano pa, mas maganda pa nga I can see uh, compared to ano sa Ontario. There's a lot of... Um, activities also that you can do um may mga garden na ang and that's yung nakakaalis ng stress mo <laughs> yung if you have time on your day off 
you can just go anywhere. It's up to you kung gusto mo mag maging expensive, mag-hotel ka sa ano mo. Pero pwede ka namang pumunta for a day. The, the, that's just for free na mag-drive ka lang. Gastos mo lang is your ano, gas. But everywhere here, very beautiful. And walang pollution for sure. Walang pollution. And of course, the most important thing here, ang Canadian mismo. Canadian uh, trade. Yung tao mismo. They are, for me, the most polite, uh, kind, respectful, polite, but, and generous people in the whole wide world. I can say very generous, very polite. Um, at hindi sila nagdi-discriminate. Walang discrimination. Kahit nasa work, there is always a uh, anti-bullying policy anti-racism policy um, so that's it guys i hope you have learned something and i know it's hard na pumunta dito it's not like mag, ma, ma, easy sa salita it's hard pag ginawa na kasi a lot of documents that you have to do but I'm pushing with um, international student because dito sa Canada ang alam ko kung ano yung pinupush nilang program yun ang dapat mong kunin dahil yun ang pinakamadaling paraan just like me uh, 16 years ago napakauso noon yung live in caregiver and that's how I get in here um, as a live in caregiver madali napakadali nung processing ko noon and then yeah, kung ano yung pinupush nila, yun ang anuhin, ang i-avail ang yung ano, program. But anyway, so next, till next time, uh, watch out for my feature about international student coming here in Canada as an international student. Thank you so much, guys. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel, The Chase on the Go. Bye-bye. Thanks.